I was molested from the time that I was a toddler up until around 10 or 11 years old. It was a person that my family knew. The sexual abuse happened every few months. I knew that it was wrong, but I knew that something wasn't right. I felt shame. I felt really confused. When I was in the fourth grade, I pulled out most of my hair. I went from making good grades in school to failing everything. I look back at pictures and I see pictures of this little girl who was smiling, but I was a shell of a child. The abuse ended the summer before my fourth grade year. The person who abused me was arrested. I woke up one morning to have coffee, flipped open my laptop to check the local news, and that person's picture was staring me in the face. This person was arrested for abusing two minor children. I died on the inside that day. I truly believed that the abuse had ended with me. I did not realize that this person still had access to children. I never would have allowed anyone else to go through what I've gone through. Those children's lives are forever changed and I don't know how to live with that. Nancy, it's good to meet you. You as well. You're sitting at home and you get up, open your computer, you see a perpetrator that has victimized some children, and what do you say to yourself? How, how has it continued to happen? This started when you were two years old. Correct. Now, let's, let's keep this in mind because it's, what happens sometimes when we look back on that is you look back on it with adult sensitivities, and it's easy to hold your two-year-old self to the standards that you think about it as an adult. You have to remember you're two. What did you say to yourself? What, what was your internal dialogue about all this? That I must have somehow asked for it to happen that I must have somehow wanted it to happen, that I'm somehow to blame for what happened to me. And how did you come to that conclusion? When I was 16, I went to someone that I trusted to tell them what had happened to me. And they voiced that they already knew what had happened to me and that they had known all along. I knew in that moment that I was unimportant. I became unimportant that day. Because you didn't matter enough for anyone to put forth any effort to intervene on your behalf, to stand in the gap for you. Two-year-olds can't intervene on their behalf. Five-year-olds, eight-year-olds, 10-year-olds. Yeah. And now you've been told that those who could have knew about it and it was just too much trouble. It was too much trouble. I just wasn't important enough. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.